Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over how I string my racket. The first thing you want to do is clamp the racket down and tighten till it's snug, but be careful not to over tighten. The strings I'm going to use today is Selenko Hyper G. It's a square poly that adds a lot of top spin to your shots. One of the issues of using a reel is how much string to cut. I personally count the amount of string I need. I have 16 mains, so I'll count 16 pulls and a half a pull of slack for the tie-offs. From the center of the throat, evenly pull the string all the way through. Now we want to clamp one of the strings close to the throat. To set the tension, move the weight so the bottom is at the desired tension you want. Grab the string that wasn't clamped. I like keeping the end in my mouth so the string can't tangle. At this point, we're going to pull tension around the wheel until the lever is parallel to the table. We'll pull tension on four strings and then switch to the other side and start pulling tension. We want to keep pressure relatively symmetric on the racket, so we don't want to pull tension on all eight mains on one side. Here you can see the lever is parallel on its own, so the tension is correctly set. All we have to do is repeat this four more times before switching to the other side. This is the last pull before switching to the other side. After switching, we can go ahead and do all eight mains, four to make it even and four to finish this side. Before pulling tension on the last string, I like increasing the tension by two pounds. When we make the tie-off knot, it's unavoidable to lose a bit of tension, so this will offset that. After pulling tension on the last main, clamp it down but don't tie off the knot yet. I'm going to use the same counting method for the crosses. My racket has 19 cross strings, so I'll count out 19 pulls and a half for each knot. Start at the lowest grommet, then weave your way to the matching grommet on the other side of the racket. Then put the string through your racket's tie-off grommet. For the cross string, I'm going to use the starting knot. I'm going to go over and under the anchor string twice, over once more, and then pull the string through the two loops. The link is in the description for a closer look at how to tie the knot. I forgot to leave some slack so I could pull from both sides, so be sure to leave some slack for a starting knot. Pull on the knot from both sides to tighten. Remove the slack and pull the knot close to the frame. Now we want to weave one more cross string before tying off the main strings. Be sure to alternate from the cross string below. I'll use a Wilson Pro Knot for the main tie-offs. I'll go over and under the anchor string and then through. Cinch the knot as close to the frame as possible by rocking it up and down 
Then pull the knot tight. Repeat the same process for the second main string. Now we can just keep weaving until we get to the head of the racket. When you get to the end, we are going to use the same tie-off knot that we did for the main strings. And that's pretty much it. Loosen the clamps, take your racket out, and go hit some balls. Like and subscribe if this was helpful.